There are a few things you can do at home to keep your computer running smoothly. There are also some things you might do which hurt performance. In this week's Compute This, home computer maintenance do's and don'ts. Here he is, back for another Compute This, Thor Schrock. Good to see you. Hello, hey, thanks Thor. for having me, guys. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there are some things that you can do at home to get your computer running a little bit better, to, to speed <laughs> it up a little, maybe reduce some of that wear and tear on the on the hard drive and stuff, make it last longer. But there are some things you really, yeah. really let's should let's do. Let's start with let's the start don'ts. With the don'ts. <laughs> well, let's talk about some of those maintenance don'ts. All right, what maintenance do you, what don't don'ts. You want to do? The biggest one is a lot of the newer computers, a lot of your laptops, especially the Ultrabooks, and newer desktops like the Schrock Innovations Holiday Specials for the last couple of years come with solid state hard drives. These are hard drives that don't have moving parts. They're super duper fast. I mean, they're amazing in their performance. But we've been trained for decades that if your computer starts to slow down, one of the first things you should do is defragment the hard drive. Mm -hmm. And that's certainly true on a rotating disk hard drive. But on a solid state drive, it works at the speed of light. There's no arm moving around in there to, to get slowed down by having to skip from here to here to read a file. That's what defragging does. It puts the file in one straight line for you. Well, with a solid state drive, if you defrag that solid state, you won't, one, get any performance increase because it doesn't matter where the things are at because it's all speed of light electronics. It doesn't, there's no moving parts. So you won't get any performance increase. But the second thing is solid state hard drives over time, little areas of the memory in the drive will wear out and the drive will adapt and move data to areas that are good. Well, the more you read and write, each one of those little cells is only good for a couple million reads and writes. So if you allow your computer to automatically defrag itself once a week, or you do it more than once a week on a solid state hard drive, you can actually cut the life of your hard drive in half. Who knew? Yeah, oh. and, and these are expensive drives. These are four or $500 hard drives That's in right. Well, in some cases, you'd probably just buy a new computer instead of replacing it. Well, most of your solid state computers are, are pretty high end. You know, mm -hmm. I put a new post at Thorschrock.com on my blog because my, my Ultrabook, my $1,000 laptop, little Ultrabook skinny thing, solid state hard drive, really fast, really pretty. Just a cool tech toy for a techie to have. Um, just decided to not power on anymore. And because it looks so cool and streamlined, it's not like a battery you can pull out of the back, and that's the normal procedure is disconnecting the battery. Right. So I put a tutorial on how to tear down one of these Ultrabooks all the way down to the battery and then unplug the battery to get it to boot again. So how do you know if you have a solid state hard drive? Well, you would know because when you bought the computer, you would have paid a boatload for the computer. We're not talking about a $500 or an $800 or a $900 computer here. Got it. We're talking about $1,000 plus computers. Mm -hmm. The solid state hard drive is, a, uh, is something that would have been a major selling point on the computer. It, it's like knowing if you have an energy efficient furnace in your house. Mm -hmm. uh, if you buy a new furnace, you're going to know if it's energy efficient or not because you're going to pay more for it when, you, when it is. Great so, analogy. Uh, back to maintenance. You offer preventative maintenance, so instead of just us reacting to a problem on our computers, prevention is also great? Yeah, we have our preventative maintenance checkups on sale at Schrock right now for $29.99. They're normally $80, and this is what a computer looks like after about six yeah. months. I know inside. you showed this picture last this yeah. is, a few weeks it's ago. It's unbelievable. Yeah, so I mean, one of the things, you, you know, one of the do's, one of the don'ts at home, a lot of people say, well, I can blow out my own fans just mm -hmm. like that. Well, you know, don't stand on your carpet in stocking feet take the side panel off your computer with a gold wedding ring on your finger and grab the vacuum cleaner, which is a static electricity machine, basically. It just generates static electricity and try to blow out your computer. You will zap the main board. So there are some don'ts, things you shouldn't do. If you don't want to mess with it, the biggest don't is just don't mess with it. Bring it into Schrock where we'll do it all for 30 bucks. It's eight hours of work well, for 30 right bucks. Well, right now, that's a limited special. Yeah, it just goes through the end of this week, just mm -hmm. through Sunday. But uh, some maintenance dues. Do defrag your hard drive, especially if you have Vista or Windows 7. You do want to go through and get all your Windows updates, install Secure Updater Trial at least, and get those third-party updates. Secure Updater for people brand new to the show and your visits? Oh, you can check it out at secureupdater.com. It's a program that automatically updates like your Adobe Flash or Adobe Reader. It helps keep viruses out of the computer. Yeah. The final don't that I'll leave you with, this is the one that just gets under my skin and just... <laughs> mm. <laughs> People think you have to do these driver maintenance things like, oh, there's a newer driver for my computer and the driver's a piece of software that makes like your sound card work or your video come on the screen. Well, don't update your drivers unless there's something not working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't mess with the drivers. Don't go out and get one of these third-party driver scanners that scans and says, you have 26 outdated drivers. You're manufacturing a problem that doesn't exist. If you go to Windows Update, sometimes in the recommended updates, there'll be Microsoft and manufacturer-approved updates for your computer. 
but you don't want to install an IBM driver, for example, in an HP computer. Mm -hmm. And that's what these driver programs do. And you don't, you don't do that because we, the, we have people that do that and then they come in and they're like, nothing works anymore. And, you know, we're basically just going back to the HP website, getting the original drivers and putting them back in, and that's the only problem. Yeah, I like that one don't. Just don't mess with it. Just yeah. don't do it. Well, <laughs> don't, don't worry. Mess with it. As you know, I haven't messed with my computer, including <laughs> getting it cleaned out. You haven't so brought it in either. I keep thinking about my husband and I have had a couple of conversations about this where I said, you know, Thor has this special because all of our computers, not one, has been maintained since we bought them. Well, and you could have just brought it with you Monday morning. I could have taken it. I'm going to the service center. I mean, it's that easy, Mary. Just bring yeah, it in. I mean, He's here anyways. I, we got, you know, normally we offer free pickup and free drop off. We don't usually do that during the sale unless our customers have a disability that they can't bring it in. Yeah. Just because we're so busy. We're going to take in almost 2,000 computers this week on the Holy sale. Holy smokes. Oh, that's a lot. Um, so that's why we talked about it here two weeks ago first. Try to give you guys a head start, Mary. Well, and if you're like me and you're dragging your feet, uh, I do. I wait till the 11th hour and then I go, shoot, I needed to do that right now, the savings. So it's eight hours of labor, incredible yeah. savings, something that typically would cost you 80 bucks. And you can understand for that much work, but this week only, you're saving uh, over 60%. Precisely. Uh, yeah. $29.99. TorontoInnovations.com is his website and three locations. Um, so if you don't want to kind of get get luck behind those 2,000 people, maybe get your computer in here at the start of the week. Getting it in early is key to getting it back fast. Great. Village yeah. Point South, Papillion, also in Lincoln and on Facebook, and check out his blog at SchrockInnovations.com uh, if you'd like to see what he's up to <laughs> in his spare time and maybe learn a lesson while you're at it. Thank you, Thor. Thanks, guys. Have a Thanks, good one. Yeah, and yeah. you as well. All right, so what we eat and drink has an effect on us inside and out. The Beauty Connection from dietitian Elisa Zide. That's next.